Realty income stock, ticket symbol O. Is this the best rate to buy right now? Realty income stock is down only 3% on the one year chart, which is quite the difference with the overall market. The S&P 500 is down almost 10%. On the 2nd of November, Realty Income presented quarterly results where they beat both on FFO and revenue by a small margin. For the upcoming earnings, 9 analysis expect a miss and 5 analysis expect a beat. The reason why people love Realty Income is because of the monthly dividends, instead of a dividend once a quarter. You will receive a small dividend every month. Dividend yield sits at 4.5% and they have grown their dividends for more than 26 years in a row. But does that mean that Realty Income Stock is a buy at current prices? Well, in this video I'm going to show you real quickly what Realty Income does. The most recent earnings, the historical returns, the fundamental analysis, dividends and in the last part I'm giving you my price target to see if they are a buy or not. And I think you definitely want to see that part so make sure to watch until the end. And I'm also very excited to see what you guys think about this stock. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Thomas and this is Thomas Invest. I'm an investor looking for great stocks at great prices. So what does Realty Income do? Realty Income Corporation is a real estate investment trust that invests in freestanding single tenant commercial properties in the United States, Spain and the United Kingdom that are subject to triple N leases. If we check the most recent earnings company highlights, we see that net income to common stockholders was $0.36 per share and FFO increased 9% year over year, which is something that I really like of course. FFO is one of the most important numbers for a REIT, so to see these numbers growing is a good sign to start off with. They have invested 1.87 billion in 375 properties and properties under development or expansion including 630 million in Europe. Realty Income also declared a 100 consecutive quarterly dividend increase in September, representing a 5.1% increase compared to the amount declared one year ago. Right now, Realty Income is an S&P 500 company and one of the 64 companies in the elite S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats Index. Next to that, Realty Income is a top 10 global REIT. And to me, this looks quite impressive. They are a high quality REIT with a proven track record. On top of that, they delivered a 14.4% compound annual growth rate shareholder return since 1994. Realty Income wants to be a top 5 global REIT and continue to deliver double digit shareholder return with minimum volatility in the future. Realty Income has an A3 to A- credit rating, which looks quite good to me. They have 53 years of operating history and almost 12,000 commercial properties. So as I said before, we are looking at a high quality REIT. Realty Income has a diversified portfolio with more than 1,100 clients across 79 industries. 78% of the portfolio is within the non-discretionary, low price point or surface segment. So this is a lot of course, by far the biggest segment. Non-retail is the second largest segment with only 14%. To me it's very interesting to see that 92% of the total rent is resilient to economic downturns and isolated from e-commerce pressures. Since 2019 the international segment of realty income has increased quite a lot in sourced volume and acquisition volume. So they are focusing on expanding in Europe which is a good sign to me. And here we see the top 20 clients. Of course these are big names so that comforts me a lot as well. Dollar General is the biggest client with 4.2%, so they are very diversified. And that's also reflected in the industry diversification. Grocery stores is the biggest industry with 10%. When you think about retail, you start to think how long will this exist in the future. With the e-commerce booming, it might happen that certain companies or industries are going to change their way of doing business. Realty Income has minimal exposure to realty companies of which their industry has filed for bankruptcy more often. So this comforts me a lot. They are only investing in retail where it's not likable that the company or industry is going to change a lot. And now that we know more about this company, it's time to check the fundamentals of this stock. But first, if you made it this far into the video, I want to thank you a lot for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and in return you'll receive similar analysis to this one every week. Let's continue by diving into the fundamentals. 
Realty Income is a 40 billion market cap company with a PE ratio of 63. But since this is a REIT, I don't want to focus on the PE ratio, but use the price to FFO instead. Price to FFO is at 18.4, which is a bit on the high side in my opinion. I prefer 16 or lower. So this could indicate that we pay a premium for the stock. Later in this video, I will show you my three price targets for realty income, so make sure to watch until the end, since price to FFO is only telling a small part of the full story here. Revenue is at 3.14 billion, and in this graph we see that revenue is going up quite nice and steady. Since late 2021, revenue took a big jump. I think revenue will slow down a bit from here. Over a longer period of time we see that margins are going down, which is of course something that I don't like. However, in the short term margins started to increase a bit, so this comforts me a bit as well. Nevertheless, keep an eye on this number. EPS is also going down in the past couple of years, so keep an eye on this number as well. Analysis expect EPS to grow at mid single digits, which is pretty good for a read to be honest. Revenue is expected to slow down quite a bit, which kind of surprises me. In the next couple of years, it's expected that realty income will grow at high single digits to low double digits, and that after the things will slow down to mid single digits. Return on assets is sitting at 3%, which is the average for a REIT, and it's the same story with the return on equity. Return on invested capital, the most important number here, sits at 1.8%, which is kinda low, even for a REIT. I really like it when the current ROIC is higher than the 5 year average, but unfortunately this is not the case, so keep an eye on this number as well. Current ratio is at 1.76, which is a little bit above my preferred number of 1.5, but since it's coming down a bit, I'm not worried that much. Another thing to keep your eye on is the total debt and total cash. I prefer companies who can pay down at least a third of the total debt with the total cash. Right now, total cash is at 192 million, while debt is at 16.8 billion. So it's very important that free cash flow is growing, since this is used to pay down debt, do acquisitions, buyback shares, and all other things. And here we see that free cash flow has grown quite a lot in the past couple of years, and is also quite steady and consistent, so this is something that I really like. If we check the shares outstanding, we see that it's going up quite a lot in the past couple of years as well. Usually this is not a good sign, but REITs issue new shares to raise capital and grow the business, so I'm not worried that much about this number. Next up are the dividends. Dividend yield is sitting at 4.5%, which is a really good number in my opinion. Annual payout is at $2.98, and since this is a monthly paying dividend stock, you will receive $0.25 each month. The payout ratio displayed here isn't correct. Based on the FFO, which REIT used to pay dividend, the payout ratio is at 77%, which is pretty average for a REIT, so this looks quite good to me. The 5 year average growth rate of the dividends is at almost 4%, which is not that high, but I'm okay with that, since they grew their dividends for 26 years in a row, which is quite impressive. But does this mean that realty income stock is a buy at current prices? Well, let's check the three price targets that are created using the Everything Money software, which is one of the best tools out there. I'm using a low, mid and high assumption to get the three price targets, starting off with revenue growth. For the revenue growth I'm filling in 7% because of the expected growth we saw in the analyst estimations. For the mid assumption I'm filling in 8.5 and for the high assumption I'm filling in 10%. For the profit margin I'm filling in 20, 22 and 24%. For the free cash flow margin, I'm filling in 70, 71 and 72%. PE ratio is not the correct metric to use for a read, but we have to fill it in, so I'm putting in 20. For the price to free cash flow, I'm putting in 16, 17 and 18. My desired annual return is 12.5% since I can get an easy 10% average annual return with owning an ETF. Right now, royalty income is at $66. I hit analyze and we see a lot of green numbers. I don't pay attention to the PE ratio since this isn't a great way to value a REIT, so I'm only focusing on the discounted cash flow value. We have a low price target of $61, which is a small drop from where they are right now. A mid price target of $72, and we have a high price target of $85. To me, the mid price target of $72 is the most justified to me, since I expect growth to slow down just a little bit and the rest of the numbers to stay at current levels. My final conclusion is that I really like this company, 
They have a proven track record and they are very well diversified within the industries. They are also acquiring companies and expand to Europe, which is also a good sign to me. The monthly dividend is something that I really like of course, since this brings in a decent amount of money on a constant basis. The valuation is also quite good. There's not much growth to be honest, but in return there's not much volatility as well. So to me, realty income could be a great dividend stock in a portfolio. But remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about a stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I would really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.